where I did find a real bird. It's a bit of a sad story, our real bird, um, because it is a baby dove that has fallen from the nest. And um, I can't find the nest, but even if I could, I'm, I'm not going to put that baby dove back in the nest. Now, as sad as it is, that, but that dove was probably going to become dinar for a chenet, a slender mongoose, even a leopard if they came across. It would be a, a big snack. Now, I'm just going to have a quick look. I've looked into the tree here. I can't see the nest. Now, it's not uncommon to find baby birds at this time of the year out in the ground. Uh, the fledglings that have tried to leave, well they're not fledglings yet, but they haven't, they're not fully fledged and they've tried to leave the nest and, and they fall. Now, sometimes the adults will look after them, but I had, didn't see any adults around when we drove up to it, but there we go. That is a little baby bird, shame. But we're going we're gonna to leave it now. We don't want to stress it out more than necessary. And the wonderful thing about it is you never actually know what's going to happen, whether it might be able to scramble back into its nest, but I don't think so. I just want to have a quick look in this tree. There's no sign of a nest under the tree that it's under, so it could have fallen out somewhere else and it's, it's scrambled along. Very sad, but remember, we are in the African wild and it's not my place to now start and interfering. That could be the African wildcat's dinner, that could be the caracal's dinner, and uh, not me to take away their dinner. And for everything to survive, some things do have to die. Now, 